chosen ones i don't know about about you but i am so very proud of you and the reason why i'm proud of you please forgive me it's my allergies but the reason why i'm proud of you today is because some of you are living good you have mastered your emotions enough to have peace no matter what is going on you know you've mastered having peace in the midst of a storm masterpiece i mean and and whatever life has thrown at you you have been able to hold steady in that state and i just wanted to just tap in for a few minutes to let you know that you should not be feeling guilty because it is your turn to receive the promises of God. You know, we are in a situation where we are experiencing inflation. But you are still very blessed. All of your needs are met. You have an abundance to where you can really go out and help someone else. That's how good you've got it going on, chosen ones. And a lot of times when we do good in the midst of darkness, you know, the enemy wants us to feel bad about that. But I just wanted to reach out and say that you shouldn't feel bad about that. We need to learn how to be our own cheerleader sometimes. We need to learn how to celebrate ourselves sometimes. We really need to learn how to just thank God that he kept us all these times where we're able to really get life. Because I'm telling you, life is a classroom. And chosen ones, some of you have mastered certain parts of life. To where whenever things happen in it, you're able to just be steady. It's amazing how when you, you know, get connected with God the way that you should. And he begins to just rewire your mind. And he attunes it to the frequency of heaven. You become like that steady rock that he talked about in his word. That he was going to build his whole kingdom on. You're that kind of rock. You're that kind of rock chosen ones. That's why they didn't like you. That's why they wanted to stop you. That's why they didn't want you to get, you know, promotions and things like that in this 3D dimension. Because the devil knew that if you could ever get loose, that he would have pro a problem on his hands. Honey, hell is mad and nervous because you have broken through the barrier to get to the promise. See, some of you are already there. And I just wanted to reach out and just celebrate you today to let you know that you should feel good about God taking care of you. You should feel good about him making ways out of no way for you. You should feel good about the fact that you went through all that hell and you came out on the other side and now you see the glory of God. You should feel good that you made it through the wilderness to the promise. You should feel good that he never forsake you or forgot about you. And you can see your neighbor struggling and be able to reach back and say, you know what? I can tell you right now, I went through that. If you just hold steady in God, Keep feeding and nurturing your mind with the things of God. In due season, you will 100% reap a harvest if you faint not. Y'all got that type of testimony. Mm, mm, mm. You killing it. And I still believe in you. Mm -hmm. Peace. Bye now. I love you.